What is on top of that building? Is that an owl? Or is that a cat? This is indeed a disturbing universe. Hello, greetings, and welcome. Welcome to the Stereo 999 YouTube channel. I am your host, the artist formerly known as Stereo Steve. And as you can see, I am beside myself. And the reason I'm beside myself is because this week's video is going to be a thread. A thread started by Martin's Vinyl over across the pond. And, uh... He started a thread that I thought was an interesting idea for a thread, and it was albums that you have two copies of, or multiple copies of, and why you have two copies of them. And I'm like, okay, I'm a hoarder. I have several copies of several things. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do for this weekend. We're going to see a stack of records that I have multiple copies of, for multiple reasons. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy. Yeah, two copies of the same record. I pulled out a few. I mean, I could, I mean, there's ones that I have like more than two copies of. There's ones I've showed in the past, but I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to just go with this stack that I pulled and uh, as per the thread, explain why I have two copies, you know. So, I'm, I'm, so I'll start with this. This is the dynamic Jack McDuff, Brother Jack McDuff Quartet with the big band of Benny Galson. And uh, the first side has his quartet with the big band, and the second side has his quartet without the big band. But uh, this is you know Jack McDuff on the organ, George Benson on guitar, Red Holloway on the sax, Joe Dukes on the drums, and uh, great version of the Pink Panther theme, and. Uh, this first song, Railhead, on the second side. George Benson is on fire on the guitar. And that yellow label, that's an original monocopy. That's what you find most of the time. You know, this is one of the ones that hasn't been reissued as far as I know. I mean, I've never seen a CD of it or anything like that. But I got this stereo copy. Stereo copy is a really nice mix. And a very cool silver and black prestige label, which I've never seen before. So, just need to keep both of these, you know, because the yellow label's what I always had. And this is just too cool. 13 Floor Elevators with Rocky Erickson, one of the prime psychedelic albums. And, uh, a million years ago, I was very lucky the way I acquired, it's not in the greatest condition, but this is an OG stereo copy of the album. Originally belonged to Linda. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> and uh, so I got the OG stereo copy and then I have this reissued mono copy that has the old style label and there are some noticeable differences especially the song tried to hide at the very end different take different take of tried to hide with the harmonica and a little faster unlike the stereo version yes recently it has become possible for man to chemically alter his mental state. <laughs> All right. It's 
another one of my favorite bands, kind of seen as an AM gold one-hit wonder to some. Band Stories, which was Michael Brown's band after the left bank. They had the hit song, Brother Louie. And uh, it was not included in the uh, promo copies of this album. Ended with What Comes After. And because uh, Brother Louie was, was a cover. But the more common pressings have the song Brother Louie right at the end. Louie, 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 Louie. So I got one of each in my collection. That's why I have two of those. All right. Uh, Beatles Rubber Soul. Of course, we know the American versions and the English versions are different. But that's not what I have. I have two American copies. One is OG in mono. Notice how it doesn't say the Beatles. It has just their four names on it instead. But yeah, this is this is the OG Mono Rubber Soul with the other albums that you can buy, like Beach Boys Party and then my other copy, also American, is the new improved full dimensional stereo. And it's the later, late 60s, early 70s pressing on Apple Records. So there's my two rubber soles. The Velvet Underground. Velvet Underground's third album. And uh, there are two different mixes of this album. And uh, there's a mix that's called the Closet Mix because Lou Reed remixed it with his vocals more up front. So it sounds like the band is playing in a closet. And this 80s UK pressing on MGM is the closet mix. And then uh, this reissue on blue vinyl from the early 2000s is the other mix, the regular mix. So that's why I have two copies of the third Velvet Underground album. Yeah.
Moving right along, Prelude by Diodato, a classic CTI label jazz fusion record from 1971, 72, something like that. But this album contained Diodato's biggest hit which was also Sprach Zarathustra, the theme from 2001. And after this record became a hit, they retitled it 2001 with this ridiculous cover. You know, everything else is the same. CTI label, they just retitled the album 2001. What's funny is that you don't see this as much as you see this, the original. But yeah, I just had to, had to keep this because that's just nuts. Okay, Sly and the Family Stone Greatest Hits. A lot of singles that weren't on the albums on this. This is uh, later pressing on the blue epic label it's got the gatefold with sly hanging out and i also have a quad quadraphonic pressing for the columbia sq quadraphonic system and that was like four speakers for each corner of the room there's a little uh, illustration and explanation of how the technology works. But even without a quad system, very noticeably different mix on these quad records. The ones on like CBS, Columbia, Epic play totally fine on your regular record player. There are some other quad systems, not so much, but noticeably different mixes especially on hot fun in the summertime and thank you for letting me be myself again so that's my two copies of sly and the family stone greatest hits okay shakti with john mclaughlin of course john mclaughlin jazz guitarist from the mahavishnu orchestra and Shakti was him and some Indian musicians made a few albums, but this is the first Shakti with John McLaughlin album. And here's why I have two copies. So this is just the regular stock copy. You notice there's like a first side, there's like a 20 minute long song and then a little shorty. And then another song on the other side that takes up the entire side, which uh, I have to tell you, the title of the song is, What Need of I for This? What Need of I for That? I am dancing at the feet of my Lord. All is bliss. All is bliss. Well, here's the interesting thing about this record and why I have two copies. This copy with the timing strip on it this was the white label promo that they sent to radio stations and they divided the long tracks into four or five minute segments to make it easier to play bits of this on the radio. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes you just find a variant and go, you know, I really only need one copy of this, but I don't know which one to keep. I'm going to have to keep them both. And this is my copy of Pink Floyd Animals. Let me see which one is which. Okay. So this one, this copy of Pink Floyd Animals is a uh, 90s reissue, U.S. copy. And it has the 90s style red Columbia label instead of the custom label. Pressed on some very thick vinyl. 
so thick. Yeah. And this one, you'll notice that the printing is different. It's a little lighter shade. And here's the original custom label that the record originally had. Okay, this one, I'm not sure if it counts or not, but the first Soft Machine album with the spinning gear. There were a lot of variants on this cover, and I just always wanted the spinning gear, so I got rid of a lot of the other variants of the green cover that I've had in the past. But yeah, this is the three-piece band. Mike Ratledge, Robert Wyatt, and Kevin Ayers. Hope for Happiness on the Probe label. But my second copy of it is actually this reissue twofer with this kind of cheesy cover. But it's the first two Soft Machine albums in one. And it's on the Command label. And this came out in 73. I think the original album was like from 67, 68, something like that. But uh, really good, clean sounding pressing on this reissue. All right. Fleetwood Mac, then play on. One of the masterpiece albums with Peter Green. And uh, Danny Kerwin. The original pressings of it did not contain the hit song, Oh Well. As you see on the bottom of the first side. But the later pressings, they knocked off two songs and put Oh Well at the end of the first side and rearranged the order of a lot of the songs to make room for it. And like I said, bumped off a couple songs. I think the CD has like every song that's on both versions, but that is my two copies of Fleetwood Mac. Then play on. Okay, last but not least, White Hills Revenge of Heads on Fire, which is the expanded version of their 2010 masterpiece, Heads on Fire. And as you can see, limited edition psychedelic swirl vinyl here. And the hype sticker on this one, limited edition midnight black vinyl. Okay, so that was it. That was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe enjoyed it enough to even give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a comment. Do check out Martin's video and participate. In this thread if you so desire because I think it's pretty cool all right peace oh no where did I go <laughs>